beautiful avian friend in the form of this male battalier that is having a very thorough preening session, making sure all of his feather tips are nicely aligned, covering them with that all-important preen oil, and just generally looking absolutely gorgeous. They're definitely one of the most striking birds of prey with their different colors, the bright red face and legs, and then the black, white, and brown on their bodies. Oh, you've missed one. Oh, no, sorry. You haven't missed one. It just was a funny misaligned flight feather. A very, very distinctive, very easily identifiable bird, also known as the short-tailed eagle. And you can see why. You can see how his <clears throat> how his wingtips actually extend right past his tail. Battaliers hardly have a tail to speak of, which gives them a very curious rocking motion in flight. And there's nothing like watching one of them in m the morning sun or the evening sun. They really are truly glorious birds. Now this is the one of the pair, one of a pair that lives between Mumba Road and Ledwood Road. And we see them relatively regularly around here. So they are territorial. They do have territories. A mating pair will have a territory, and then they will raise their offspring in that area. So every now and again, we also see three of them sitting together. The two adults, striking and beautiful, and then the rather nondescript juveniles that are brown. And the only way you can really, that well, one of the big defining features is that fluffy head of theirs. They've got very, very fluffy heads. And it takes them a good, easily, a good seven years to attain their adult plumage. So they spend the first seven years of their life with this nondescript sort of brown look before they attain this coloration. Specialized snake hunters and other things as well, of course. And scavengers. Often when you see a tawny eagle and a battalier together in a tree looking down at the ground, there's a very good chance that there is a leopard kill somewhere in the vicinity or something similar. Look at him. I still think the females are slightly more striking just because they've got an extra strip of white on their wings and the white usually looks a little bit cleaner and stands out more clearly against the black feathers.